To current Robert Morris students, the Charles L. Soule Center has always been the home for Colonial basketball. But there's rumors of Robert Morris building a new basketball arena. So what's the story? I think one of the things that we really want to emphasize is that it's going to do a few things for the university beyond just provide a great new place for our basketball and volleyball teams to play. Um, one of the things it's going to do is it's going to allow us to open up uh, the Soul Center Arena where we're sitting right now for student recreation. So the entire student body will be able to make use of this facility for recreation. It's obviously going to provide a lot more room, a lot more space than the, the John Jay Gym does currently. So allowing the, uh, us to no longer have to use the John Jay Gym for that is going to allow that space to be uh, transformed into laboratory, classroom, office space as part of our larger plan to renovate the School of Engineering and Math, Math and Science. Last April, the Board of Trustees gave the green light to start Phase 1, which is fundraising about $50 million for this 130,000 square foot event center. Once Phase 1 is complete, the 18-month construction process is meant to start within a couple of months. So the big question, timeline. Uh, when's the new event center going to be yeah, finished? So the, the trustees basically gave us the green light to go out and try to fundraise, which is phase one. Uh, that's what we're working on right now is that phase one, securing the outside dollars uh, you know, that are not in competition with other things we do, which the trustees were pretty clear on and is, is a tough, tough chore. I mean, typically when you go out and fundraise money, you would look at the people that have been giving you money and say, hey, we need to go after these people to get some money for this project. So I think that once we get through that phase, then it will start to develop more of the potential timeline. But the real question, with Soul Center rarely being filled to capacity and residence life offering rewards to students who move off campus, why such a rush to replace Soul? What are we doing about residence? Well, I think first, there's a really important point to make, which is that the event center um, is not competing for dollars with the residence halls or any other academic or student facility on campus. Yeah, we have committed to fund the, the event center solely through um, donations. Uh, these are coming in from, from donors who generally only support athletics or have not previously supported Robert Morris at all and would not be supporting another project. So you think we'll be able to fill a 4,000, 4,500 seat? Yeah, I think event uh, a buildings will, you know, a new building will be enticing to the community. Uh, where they'll feel comfortable coming in. It's a little different than, say, uh, Moon High's gym. Uh, they'll be excited about coming to something that's new and provide some quality amenities, such as concession stands, ticket office. They'll have more of a professional feel where people will feel like it's an entranceway to the, the campus, so to speak. The original completion goal set out by the Board of Trustees doesn't have the Colonials playing their November exhibition game in the new arena until 2018 which means construction doesn't need to begin for another 15 months. Do you think it's a good idea of all of the things that Robert Morris could be soliciting donations for? Do you think that an, the arena is the best one? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say Seoul is like newer, but it's, it's kind of looking like it's old. But I think that for the new arena, I think it's the best thing for the donations to go towards. It looks like fans will be cheering on their Colonials from right here for at least the next two seasons. From the Charles L. Soul Center, I'm Dylan McKenna, Colonial Sports Center.